Cobalt Character Animation provides a character production pipeline native in Cinema 4D. Character, design, animation, motion capture. Hi, my name is Sarah Richter. I'm co-founder of Cobalt Character Animation. Today we're going to take a closer look at our Cinema 4D plugin, KCA Random Number. This plugin allows you to create sequences of animated random numbers where the numbers and the length of the sequences change over time. So you can achieve, for example, something like this matrix effect. Let's start with the installation. All you have to do is copy the folder random number that we sent to you into Cinema 4D's plugins folder. The default path would be C, Program Files, Maxon, and then Cinema 4D, plus the current version um, release number that you're using, and then you switch into the plugins folder. Here you can paste random number. So if you launch Cinema 4D now, you will be able to find the plugin you just installed inside the main menu under Plugins, Random Number. When you choose it, it will appear automatically inside the Objects Manager and inside the Attributes Manager under the tab Object, you just click on Start. Now the random controller and the font selector have been created. They're only created once and to ensure the correct functionality of the plugin, please do not rename them or nor delete them. Okay, let's take a look at the parameters that you can control. Inside the objects manager, choose the null object random controller. Inside the attributes manager, switch to the rand data tab. And here you'll be able to see the parameters that you can control. Animation start end controls the duration of the animation. The sequence display time controls the display time of both the new sequence and the new sequence length. The new sequence refers to a new set of random numbers and the new sequence length refers to the amount of numbers in each sequence. Random number from to refers to the random numbers that will be selected between the numbers 0 and, for example, 1. And the length is the length of the sequence, which means the amount of numbers, uh, in this case 10. The length variation refers to the amount of numbers that will vary. For example, in this case, you would have a sequence length between 5 and 10 numbers, displaying the numbers uh, between 0 and 1 at random. By default, you can choose um, a minimum uh, between 100 and 1000, minus 100 and 1000, and plus 100,000. Uh, you can't go further down or up in these values. If you need to modify the range, you just go to the user data tab, uh, manage user data, random number from 2, and for the lowest you could set a new limit minimum, for example of minus 200,000, and for highest a limit maximum of, for example, plus 200,000. Don't hit enter or cancel, because if you do that, Cinema 4D won't accept the new values. Just click on the button OK. And now if I go further down or up, I can. But let's switch back to numbers between 0 and 1. The sequence spacing um, allows you to create spacing between the sequences in all directions x, y, and z. Uh, you should take into account the size 
of your numbers for this value. Also, the sequence spacing goes hand in hand with the rotation values. For horizontal columns, you need to set the rotation values of H, P and B to minus 90 degrees and set a sequence spacing in the Z direction. For vertical columns, you would set the rotation values of H, P and B to zero and give a sequence spacing value in the Y direction. Okay, the vanishing point simplifies the creation of the perspective effect. It moves the parent object of your numbers uh, to the distance that you choose. If your vanishing point, for example, is in the Z direction, a good value would be 80,000. And to help increase the perspective effect, you could give the rotation H and P a value between 0 and 2 degrees. You will actually not see any of the changes that we're making until we finally create the effect, but we will get to that later. So let's take a quick look at the font selector. Actually, here you can change, for example, the font of the numbers. The text that you type in here does not influence the animation at all because the plugin only animates um, numbers and not text. But it allows you to preview uh, your settings. So it makes sense to change this text to all the numbers so we can preview so we can preview them here inside the editor window of cinema 4d we're going to leave the rest of the settings as they are we go back to the random controller and since the font selector is there for previsualization purposes only it makes sense to hide it once the effect is created we can align the numbers to the left, middle or right, and we're going to align them to the middle. The character height, we can still change the size of the characters here. We're going to leave it as it is, and we're not going to add a horizontal spacing. Of course, you will only be able to view the animated effect when you render it if you have an extrude nerves applied so you can access all the properties of the extrude nerves for now what we're going to do is maybe make it a bit thicker uh, the caps we're going to leave with the default settings and for the fillet type you have uh, zero for linear one for convex and so on and we're going to choose the number six engraved and the phone angle we're going to leave it as it is. The rest of the cap options we're also going to leave as it is. Now we can we can go back to the random number plugin inside the objects manager and for the effect to take place, all of our settings to take place, we just click on the button start and you can see that the font selector was hidden automatically and the sequence of numbers was created. You could add a material to it to make it a bit more interesting when you render it. See, when you render it, you can see it and you can play the animation as well. I hope you had fun working through this tutorial and that you come back for more.